So in this question, we're looking at this guy, Alexander. Sanders diving from a platform. Relationship of time in, in uh, seconds and height in meters, okay? We're told that he starts his dive from a platform that's 10 meters above the ground. Well, when no time has passed, how high is he from the ground? Good, he's at 10 meters. So we know one point on this parabola, right? Where is this point located? Good, it's the y-intercept, 0, 10. So we know our x and our y. Okay, so we know he's diving, and they tell us because of gravity, it's quadratic. So he's, he's going in the air, and obviously he has to come back down. We're given his maximum height. Where would that point be located? Okay, it would be located at the vertex. What is his maximum height? 11.225 meters after how many seconds? 0 0.5 seconds, right? So we actually know that this is the vertex. I'll erase this unit. So if we were to plug this into vertex form, well, we have our x and our y, and we have what? Vertex form. What is the vertex? What variables do we use? h and k. What's missing in the vertex form? What variable do we need to solve for? Good, we need to find a. Okay, it's asking us to find how long was he above the water? Well, is he above the water here? Yes. Is he above the water for the entire time? No. Until he hits the, until he basically jumps into the pool. So from zero to something, he's above the water. Where would this something be located? Where does this touch the graph? X-intercept, okay? So we need to eventually find the X-intercept, but anytime you need to solve for a quadratic equation, you need to know the A value as well. We don't have the equation. We need to come up with the equation. Because we know the vertex, we're going to put this equation into vertex form, since we know the vertex. We also know a point on the graph. What was the point? Where was it located? 0 and 10, so our Y is 10. We don't know A, we know X is 0. What's H? 0 0.5. And what's K? 11.225. Good. Simplify this, solve for A. Solve for A, don't forget that this is a term. We want to remove this positive 11.225. How do I remove that? No, I need to move this to the other side. We subtract it. And then we have 0.25a, then we divide it, exactly. So simplify and now we divide to isolate the variable. So what is a equal to? Negative 4.9. And think about it. The graph that we had just sketched, did it open up or down? Found a, we can put this equation into vertex form. We need to find the x-intercept because we need to know when did he hit the ground? How long was he in the air for? So there's a couple ways we could do this. So find out how long he was in the air for. Which variable, when I drew a sketch of the graph, represent the length of time? Was it x or y? Right, this is the time. So we don't know the time. We don't know how long he was in the air, Claire. Y was his height, right? The Y um, value what is his height. When he's no longer in the air, what's his height? Zero, okay? So we're gonna replace this with zero. How many variables do we have left in our equation to solve for? One variable, we have an X. We have to use bed mass and we have to rearrange our equation to isolate our x. Well, we have this positive 11.225. What should we do with that? Move it to the left side. What does it become? Negative, negative 11.225 equals negative 4.9 times x minus 0 0.5 squared. Can we get rid of this multiply by negative 4.9? How do you, how do you, what's the opposite operation of multiplying something? So if I divide this by negative 4.9, this will cancel out, right? So what do I have to do to the left side? Okay. What's 11.225 divided by 4.9? 2.29 is equal to 
x minus 0 0.5 squared. We could expand this and then put it into um, expanded form, but we can also just get rid of this squared. What's the, you always do the opposite operation. What's the opposite of squaring a number? Square root, right? So if I do square root, this will cancel out. I'm just left with my x minus 0 0.5, okay? And what do I have to do to the left side? Square root it. What's the square root of 2.29? Approximately 1.51. Okay, so I need to remove this. Negative 0 0.5, opposite of subtracting 0 0.5 is adding. X equals, X is equal to 2, but we forgot to do something here. What's the square root of 2.29? It can be positive 1.5 or it can be negative 1.5. Negative 1 1.5 plus 0 0.5 will also give us X. What's the other X value then? Negative 1. Now we need to think about the context of this question. When we graph this, the roots will be at negative 1 and 2. But what does x represent? What are we talking about here in this context? We're talking about time. Is it possible for time to be negative? Is he in the air for negative 1 second? No. So we actually don't need that as part of our answer. You do need that to graph this, but you don't need it in what the question's asking. The question said, how long is he in the air for? two seconds. So therefore, he is above the water for approximately two seconds. Made with DoodleCast Pro.